Hello everyone, this is Brianna Rutter, author of one of my most popular books, The Natural Hair Bible, and founder of HowToBlackHair.com. For these videos, I love to answer the questions that you all send me via email. So if any of you have any questions you would like for me to answer, be sure to check out the description box below for additional information. This video is because of an email I received from Danielle. She writes me to say that she has been wearing box braids for some time, but she's having issues keeping her hair healthy because she constantly is getting breakage and split ends and things like that. So she wants to know how to fix this situation as well as also how to have more of a curly type of hairstyle with her real hair once she removes the extensions. So she wants me to give her some suggestions on how to achieve both of those things. And I'm glad you sent that email because I got some solutions for you. Now the very first thing when you are wearing extensions is that before installing your extensions and after installing your extensions you have to go through the natural protocol to make sure that you're doing your hair care regimen. Before wearing extensions you have to evaluate whether or not you need to do a moisturizing deep conditioning treatment or a protein treatment to your hair as well as trimming your ends before you actually get braids or an install done. If you want to know more information on that I'll go in thorough detail on my website about how to differentiate when you need moisture versus when you need protein. So make sure that before you're getting your braids done that you're doing either or as well as trimming your ends because this is the issue with split ends. They don't go away. So when you wear your braids and then you take them out, your split ends are gonna be 100 times worse and you're going to lose length and especially if you want to retain length, this is a huge issue. So you have to keep the ends trimmed because they will continue to split if you don't. So also, when you are getting your braids done or actually after when you take your braids out, there are a lot of styles that you can do to give off more of a curly effect. So it doesn't matter what type of hair you have, you can do these similar hairstyles to achieve what you would like. And the top two styles that I believe is the easiest for anyone to learn how to do, as well as that gives a really cool effect to your hair, are twist outs and bantu knot outs. Now I've done tutorials on both of these hairstyles in step-by-step -step detail for those who want a more slow down process or actually just a more clear thorough description each step of the way of what to do and also if you feel like you already know a little bit of it you can go ahead and advance to an additional step that would actually be best for you on my website. So go on to my website and search for twist out or bantu knot and you will see those tutorials that will actually take you step-by-step -step to show you how to get some curly hairstyles. So I hope that I've answered all of your questions. And of course, if you need any additional help, you can be sure to um, leave me a comment on my website or email me or whatever's best for you. And um, also I hope this has helped everyone else. So thank you once again. And until next time, I will see all of you in my very next video.